So I hope that my first introduction to Friedrich Nietzsche life and philosophy was uh, interesting enough that you uh, will read with interest what you will find on the platform and perhaps uh, you will see uh, also uh, in other sources uh, internet uh, is uh, very generous today so you can find everything of Nietzsche uh, online in English in German in Polish even Volne Lecturi are proposing us uh, unfortunately not not this Antichrist which I will comment briefly but other, some of other uh, works uh, you you can find uh, uh, available um, online. So uh, why Antichrist? Because I think that for us uh, uh, as already student and expert of uh, Western uh, philosophy, history of philosophy, uh, in few uh, fragments, in fact, entire book is uh, has a um, subtitle fragments, you will find a certain massive attack on uh, Christianity, which is uh, shocking on the one hand, but I find it uh, uh, not so sh shocking, but as a kind of invitation to reflect upon my own understanding of, of Christianity, of these basic notions of Christianity. And please remember that uh, Nietzsche himself was uh, socialized uh, into Christianity. As I uh, told you, his father was a minister, a Protestant theologian, so probably at home, uh, although he was a child when his father passed away, but his uh, mother and sister were very pious. Uh, so uh, we can say that uh, at home, he was breathing all the time the Christian uh, values or Christian uh, axiological system. Uh, so, so interesting is to, to, to read uh, what uh, he rejected and why he rejected from, from Christianity. So as I said, uh, it was his last work written uh, when he was um, 44 in 1888, but was published uh, posthumously when he passed away already four years after his death, uh, this uh, Antichrist was uh, published. And by the way, uh, Nietzsche, as you remember, also Spinoza uh, was um, uh, having a different uh, uh, invitation to, to teach philosophy, but because of his uh, criticism of Christianity, uh, he was not accepted uh, as a teacher. So uh, already during his lifetime, uh, his ideas were perceived uh, as very controversial or too controversial. Uh, and reading it, you will understand why it was so. So I will focus on a few aspects of his, um, uh, as I said, uh, criticism of Christianity. Uh, so for him, what we consider as the positive aspect of Christianity, for him it was uh, negative. For example, that Christianity stay on the side of, of, of weakness. He said uh, it's, it's, it's not a good that Christianity is on the side of, of uh, weakness. Uh, he proclaimed a, a real war on theologians. That the theologians and theology as such as depriving us of the most vital aspect of, of our life. He, he also discussed uh, uh, with um, passion the Christian concept of God. And uh, for him it was false what Christianity is proposing. Uh, he was not rejecting, he was not an atheist, he was not saying that the notion of God is, doesn't make sense, uh, but uh, that the, the concept of God proposed by, by Christianity doesn't make sense. And uh, some accusations are really, uh, I would say, 
extremely uh, powerful when he said that Christianity and cruelty and willing, willingness to persecute is almost synonymous. Uh, I think that this kind of accusation should be uh, really uh, taken seriously. Why he, he was uh, accusing Christianity to be cruel, to be um, unable to accept uh, different opinions, and so on and so on. And also that Christianity is in opposition to all in intellectual, uh, intellectual achievements. Um, and, and finally, his uh, really pathetic accusation and rejection of Christianity. So all this are um, very powerful, and I think that you see that philosophy could be an, an provocation. So when I said that Nietzsche is a, is a philosophical prophet, it means that he has uh, something uh, which is almost uh, transcendental. It's, it's not in continuity with what was till he started to write his works. So to illustrate this powerful style and the inspiration which he gave to so many people, I will quote a few uh, passages and briefly I will discuss it. So the, the first, the concept of God, you remember that I said that for him it was unacceptable. So listen to, to Nietzsche's uh, words. The Christian concept of God, God as God of the sick, God as the spider, God as the spirit, is one of the most corrupt conceptions of God ever attained on earth. Perhaps it even represents the low watermark in the descending development of the God type. God degenerated into the contradiction of life instead of being its transfigura transfiguration and eternal Yah in God, a declaration of war against life, nature, and the will to life. God, the formula for every slander of this word, for every lie about that word. In God, nothingness deified, the will to nothingness sanctified. So you see, it's a really powerful, and uh, of course he was rejected, and you can hear many comments that he is the master of suspicion, that he is anti-Christian, anti-religious, etc. But I think this is a very superfluous reading of Nietzsche. This is really a powerful spiritual, intellectual, and religious provocation. Oh, oh hear this sentence. Christian, in a certain sense, means cruelty towards oneself and others, hatred towards those who think otherwise, the will to persecute. It's a very strong uh, accusation, but to uh, reject it, you, you need good arguments. If you have a, a history of Christianity which persecuted uh, so-called heretics or schismatics, who persecuted uh, uh, women in a in, 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 uh, long time, uh, which rejected other uh, or persecuted, erased our uh, other religions, confessions. So all this make accusation of, of Nietzsche less uh, fantastic, less arbitrarian. It's really rooted in the history. So he knew history. He was, of course, uh, expert in, in ancient uh, philosophy. Uh, he was enthusiast of Dionysus, Apollo, etc. But he saw also how uh, destructive uh, 
uh, some representatives of Christianity could be. And uh, my last quotation is also a last uh, quotation from this short work you will see on the platform, is the accusation toward Christianity as such, is the fragment number 62. So after bringing so much accusation, criticism, etc., this is the final uh, accord of his book. With this, I am at the end and pronounce my judgment. I condemn Christianity. I raise against the Christian church the most terrible accusation that any accuser has ever uttered. To me, it is the highest of all conceivable forms of corruption. It has and it has had the will to the last corruption possible. The Christian Church has left nothing untouched by its depravity. Out of every value it has made an unvalue. Out of every truth a lie. Out of every act of uprightness a will willness vileness of the soul. People still dare to talk to me of its humanitarian blessings. To abolish any state of distress ran counter to its deepest advantage. And so on and so on. You see, this is Nietzsche. This is his uh, accusation of Christianity and I think it's a very uh, powerful invitation also to our own understanding. And many people consider him really as a prophet. Also in, in Christian modern theology, if you take theologians who were inspired by his criticism, like Hans King and many others, you see the cre creative development of Nietzscheanian thought. He was a prophet, inspiring prophet, who invited us to discuss, to meditate even, and to enter perhaps in dialogue with uh, non-believers, with atheists, because uh, uh, hearing to Nietzsche, to his uh, accusation, you can understand also why uh, atheism is so powerful in modern culture. In the United States, it's the fastest growing part of, of American society, was never so powerful as today. You have those who don't want to belong to any confession, so-called nuns. And be beyond all this uh, skepticism, toward institutional form of religion, you can find this criticism of Nietzsche. And I would say that he, uh, in a way, could be um, connect with the uh, basis of fundaments of our uh, Western tradition. And this is why I am proposing uh, him as a part of our course, because I think uh, it's worthy to discuss and you can find uh, uh, inspiration uh, present, as I mentioned already, everywhere. Um, but uh, this uh, we will discuss in our uh, third and last introduction to what we can do with Nietzsche as a prophet of philosophy uh, today in our life, in our uh, way to, to deal with uh, problems which are coming to us and we, which we have to resolve.